So here we are at Nena Kind. Have I said that name properly? Yes, you have. Yes. Tell me where the name Nena Kind comes from. Nena Kind comes from a nickname that my daughter was given. Uh, we set the centre up in Helen's name. Helen Hind, her name was. But my granddaughter couldn't say Helen when she was little. She called her Auntie Nana. And Helen worked at a nursery, and a little girl there thought her name was Mrs. Kind. So she got nicknamed by her sons and her husband, Nana Kind. So. And Nana Kind is in Chestfield and does what? We support cancer patients and their family and friends. It's literally a drop in centre. Anybody can just walk in. Um, they can just come in if they want to, if they're tired, want to sit down or if they want a cup of tea, if they want somebody different to talk to, or we offer therapies as well. Um, what kinds of cancer are we talking about? Any kind of cancer. Any kind Any of cancer, kind. they come in. Who provides the support? Uh, we've got volunteers, we've about 25 volunteers. Um, we're all trained uh, through Macmillan in what you call listening and responding. Everybody seems to think you know how to listen, but when you get trained to listen, you realise there's certain ways uh, of listening to people. Uh, we're not counsellors, we don't give medical advice, we are just here to give that support. But sometimes it's easier in life to talk to a relative stranger. It is, much easier, yes, because you don't always want to talk to the people, uh, your family, because they're upset and you don't want to give them that extra stress. It's, it's stressful all around for the patients or clients as we call them and for their family and friends. And you said you don't have to even talk when you come in here? No, no. Some people just want to go and sit on their own. We have people who come through the door and you know when they walk through the door they want to sit and have a damn good cry. Yeah. That's fine. We have little areas here. We have a large area but we have small areas and people can go and just sit in these areas talk about what they want to. If they don't want to talk, that's fine. If they want to go to sleep, that's fine. Right. Uh, we realise that we have family and friends. Like a couple will come in, one's got cancer. And the other one, um, yeah, the other one will uh, want to go and do a bit of shopping, but they're not, um, they can't always um, have the energy to keep walking around Chesterfield all the yeah. time. So what they do is they'll, one will come sit in here, the other one will go and do the shopping or business or whatever they want to do. Yeah. Now the particular bit that interested me and the reason I said I would come back was the shocking story you were telling about people who can't afford cancer treatment. Yeah, it's not, it's not can't afford the cancer treatment, it's the money to get to Western Park for the treatment. A lot of clients start the treatment at, Sh at Chesterfield Hospital, but then if they're told they need to go to Sheffield to Western Park, they've got to get then to Western Park, sometimes for as many as 30 days at a time, so they'll go for five days block, so they usually give them a Saturday, Sunday off. So they've got to go every day, backwards and forwards. Sometimes it can be for, if it's radiotherapy, it will take longer for them to get undressed than it will to have the radiotherapy, if you know what I mean. But they've still got to get there. And, and it's expensive. You described two problems. One was expense and one was directions. Yeah. Some people can't uh, literally afford to go because of the cost of the bus fares, etc., or taxes or things like that. The other thing, if there's somebody who's living on their own, they've got nobody, and there are people like that who've got nobody, they literally don't know how to get to Western Park. We know people who've literally, it takes them, say somebody lives in the Tupton area of Chesterfield, they have to come from Tupton into Chesterfield. They go from Chesterfield into Sheffield, and from Sheffield up to Western Park. So then going back again, that's eight buses. And when they've had their treatment, maybe the first few times, they're all right, but gradually over the weeks, they get tired and tired, and it's very, very stressful for them. Yeah. You said that sometimes grants are available. Yes, yeah. Um, well, there are grants through Macmillan for people in dire need. Uh, these aren't only just for bus fares. 
if people have problems, they have a lot of washing to do with of it, and they've got no washing machine. They could put in for example, for a washing machine, uh, or for bedding, or all sorts of different things. But it's a one-off grant. Yes. So, Doesn't the benefits system cover people in that setting? They, we have found out in the last couple of weeks that if people are already still on benefits, you can go to, I know this, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, it's just for a hospital, but also the Hallamshire Hospital, and people can go, they have to have this form stamped by the doctor, oncologist, senior nurse, whatever, and they can get a certain amount of the bus fares refunded, not all of it. We don't know of any service that takes cancer patients free to Sheffield, to Western Park. If there is, please we would like to know, but we don't know of anything. That's why we are setting this bus service up. So you're setting up a bus service. Tell me about the bus. It starts on the 30th of September. Uh, so it's a bit exciting, but also a bit stressful. <laughs> uh, and what it will be, it will pick up outside the Portland Hotel here in Chesterfield. So if people are, if it's raining or snowing, they can sit in our centre here until it comes. The bus driver will ring us and say, I'm here. They can get on the bus, they go straight to Western Park. It will cost now, after last night's quite heated meeting, <laughs> uh, five pound mm. to go to Sheffield and back, which I think is pretty reasonable. Although when you look at it, if you've got to go 30 times, that's still 150 pound. Unfortunately, we haven't got money to do it free. It'd be lovely if we had, but we haven't. But if you went on a taxi, it would cost? £25 each way to the middle of, che of Sheffield. If you're going up to the Hallenshire, it's more. And we know this is right, we've checked up how much it would cost. Wow, so that's a lot of money. We have had people say, but I've got a gold card. Oh yes, fair enough, I've got a gold card. But this is a, if you like, a bespoke service. It's going direct in the hospital. And for some people, this service, it, it's saving their lives. If, if they feel they can't go by doing this at £5, if they haven't got the money, then we will help them find some funding to get that service, that money. And you yeah. said um, when people have had the treatment, they can sometimes be very tired. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very tired. Just, they just want to go to sleep all the time. Yeah. So if they want to sleep on the bus on the way back? That's fine. That's fine. We're, there'll be designated drivers that will always run this service. So they will be, they'll know about cancer patients. You know, they've, they've had training. Um, we will put blankets on the bus. So if they're cold, because a lot of patients are very cold. So they will do that as well. So there'll be wheelchairs on the bus. Excellent. So anything that will make the life a